Thyrotrons resemble standard vacuum tubes, but instead of the inside being at a vacuum, it is filled with a gas, such as argon or mercury vapor. When the grid is kept at a negative charge, there is no current flow through the tube. As the grid voltage comes up, electrons begin to flow, and the increased current begins to excite the gas inside the thyrotron. The gas then ignites, creating an arc of plasma that connects the plate to the cathode, enabling a much higher amount of current to flow. Once ignited, the grid is encased in positive ions, essentially disabling it. This means that the only way to turn the thyrotron off again is to cut the current at either the plate or the cathode. As I increase the grid voltage on this 2D21 argon-filled thyrotron, no current flows until the thyrotron ignites, which then allows enough current to illuminate this very power-hungry halogen bulb. Because thyrotrons can move a lot of current, they are also ideal for rectifying AC into DC. Here we can see that same 2D21 thyrotron rectifying the AC from the transformer to 6 volts DC.